But you know what you're missing? Yep, needs more green. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Mini Mates figure review on the Avengers Age of Ultron Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch 2-pack along with the Bruce Banner and War Machine 2-pack. Thank you so much Mr. Phils for this awesome birthday present, man. I really needed these to complete my Avengers Age of Ultron Avengers set. This will be actually the very first complete set of Age of Ultron Avengers. I'm very, very stoked to see how this is going to come out. Uh, this came out for Wave 1. Toys R Us exclusive, then this is also a Wave 2 version, another Toys R Us exclusive over here. And on the side of the packaging, you can see Quicksilver right there, we get Bruce Banner, and then on the back, you can see how this is from Wave 1, and then this one's from Wave 2. There's a read-up on Quicksilver, if you want to read it, pause it now. Here's a read-up on Scarlet Witch, read-up on Bruce Banner, and read-up on War Machine. And then on the other side, you can see War Machine right there, and then there's Scarlet Witch. Alright, let's get to it and crack these things open! So here's all four figures out of the packaging, and I really like these a lot. My favorite two, though, are the Quicksilver and the War machine. Those two are really cool. I really like the Scarlet Witch. I wish she came with more accessories though. But the Bruce Banner is actually very film accurate. Looking at this guy, I feel like it actually looks like Bruce Banner over here. I don't know how, but I think it, they did a really good job with these little lines right here on the deco and he has the glasses on. You even get some color variation right there on his hair, which is really good. I like that. So that's pretty sweet. And then he has the lab coat. I wish the Marvel Legends one came with the lab coat and I didn't mention that in my review of that figure. So yeah, I really like the accurate apparel over here with the lab coat and the plaid shirt, the hairy chest, and then it's not tucked in as you can see right there. He does have the dark blue jeans or the blue khakis anyway, and then the black shoes. Even though I think he did have brown shoes on. I can't remember exactly for sure, even though I just watched the movie like three times in a row. And he also comes with this alternate head over here where he's hulking out. Ooh, he's so mad! And I don't think they needed to make a separate piece for this. They could have just put that deco on the back of the head over here, but you can swap them out so you can get that going as well. Mean, angry Bruce Banner. And all of these actually come with their own little stand right over here too, so you could just plug them right there at the bottom of the feet. And then here we have War Machine, looking pretty cool. I wish they gave him some paint right there for the eye sockets, maybe some yellow or something like that would have been kind of nice. But overall the sculpt looks pretty good. Do you get a little bit of like this weird shading? I think they missed some of the paint. I'm not exactly sure about that, but you do get some brown tones in there, which is a little bit strange. I think the detailed sculpt on this is really nice though. You can see all these etched out lines right here on the arms and on the chest section. I tried moving this around. I don't get any articulation out of this. I think I'm gonna about to break it if I keep going. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone. But still, the paint apps came out really good on this. I do like it. This little boot comes off a little easier than I'd like it to. And he comes with the swoosh flight effect thingy going on right there. So I like that a lot. Then you can remove this to reveal Don Cheadle. And it does look like Don Cheadle. They really captured those droopy Don Cheadle eyes. So I think that looks great. I'm very happy with that. That looks really good. And they even have the hair painted right up there. So yeah, I think this little war machine is awesome. And then here we have our Scarlet Witch. Looking really good as well. I like how they gave the heavy eyeliner right there around her eyes. So that's pretty film accurate. And then you get the cleavage. Ooh, yeah, look at that mini make. <laughs> There's like no sculpt to that. This is the flattest chest on an action figure that I have, and I'm going to just still gawk at the cleavage. <laughs> but anyway, I like the jacket over here. I think that looks really cool. And she has these red arms and everything, and little bands. And you can even see they painted some jewelry right there on her hands. So it looks like she's wearing some rings and stuff. Nice gold paint on there. I think that looks good. The skirt looks really nice too. And she has her little leggings right here. Looking really nice, so yeah, looking pretty good. Like the skirt and everything. Nice hair too. This, the hair sculpted out very nicely. Like some kind of like little red transparent effects would have been nice to attach to her hands. Even the little Lego version of Scarlet Witch has some kind of effect things, you know. So that would have been nice if they added that, or like a swooshy thing so that she could fly on top of it. You know, I like adding one of these things for her so she could hover in the air. Even though she did that only one scene at the end of the movie. You didn't see that coming. The hair looks really good on this figure. I really like this one. I think they should have added a little bit of black to his hair sculpt though because he did have some black mixed in with that really light colored white. It wasn't even really white. It seemed like bleach blonde kind of I think but I still think it looks cool seeing Quicksilver with the white hair no matter what because in the comics he did have the white hair. And I do like the little 5 o'clock shadow that he has. The eye color looks good on the deco. 
And I like how the shirt looks too. Some really nice deco here. Pretty awesome. I really like it a lot. One thing I really dig about this figure a lot though is that he does come with this little effect over here. And we've seen this with other mini mates, but this is like his little dash, eat my dust kind of effect going on. And that just looks really good with the figure. I really like that a lot. There's no alternate face on the other side or anything like that. So it's just the one facial expression. Same thing with all the other ones, you know? Uh, the Scarlet Witch, she doesn't have anything going on. Ooh, I just cut her in half. No, you can't remove her hair and there's nothing on the back. Now the articulation on all four of these figures is about the same, but I'll demonstrate it on Quicksilver right here. His head's on a ball joint, so you can get him to look up and move down. You get to pivot right there and side to side movement. The shoulders can twist a little bit over here, so it's almost like a bicep swivel. You get this rotation forward and you can move them outward. Bends at the elbow 90 degrees. You get a swivel right here at the wrist. You do get a waist swivel. Then the legs move outward. You can kind of rotate them a little bit, almost like a thigh swivel right there. You can get them to kick forward and move back. You do get the knee bend at 90 degrees, and then you get a swivel at the ankle. So these are Marvel Mini Mates, and they all stand at around two and a half inches tall. You can see the Scarlet Witch, though, is the tallest one, which is a little inaccurate. And here they are next to the mini Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And then here's my new Mini Mate Avengers figures compared to the rest of the Avengers from the movie Age of Ultron. Almost 100% complete set of Avengers from the MCU, just missing an AOU Falcon figure, and then that would be complete. Uh, to get a comparison with the Bruce Banner next to the Hulk over here, I feel like they're could have been more of a size difference. That's a little bit disappointing. And I do wish that Scarlet Witch did come with some effects. That would have been really nice. At least a swoosh or something like that for her to fly on. But other than that, I really like it. I'm very, very happy with this. And thanks so much, Mr. Phils. This was an awesome gift. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!